together. My name is Ralf Stemme, and I'm the product manager for the Gessar Server Service Control Lab. Today, I would like to present to you our ZK29. It's a valve according class 900 or the nominal pressure PN160, and it's designed to handle high differential pressures in the steam water cycle, where we are facing flashing water, cavitation problems, and high flow velocities by high differential pressures. Before I go deeper into the valve details, I would like to show you some typical applications here in an example of a scheme of a steam water cycle of a power plant. Power station has got the task to generate electric power with a generator at the turbine. So to get the steam for the turbine, we have got here the boiler consisting out of an evaporator, the superheaters and reheaters. The boiler will be fitted finally by the boiler feed pump, which gets the water from the feed water tank. So at the end, the boiler um, will evaporate the water, produce steam, turn the turbine, the steam will be condensed after the turbine in the condenser and will be pumped back by the condensate pump to the boiler house into the feed water tank. Typical applications for our severe service control valves are the blue colored items here. These are valves for steam, water and for flashing water service. An example for water applications are, for instance, the feed water control valve or the spray water control valves at the steam coolers between the superheaters or reheaters or at the bypass stations. An application for server service at flashing water are, for instance, the start-up blow-down valves of the boiler drum, then all drain and warm-up valves for the boiler, for the piping system or for the turbine plant. And then we have got even uh, high pressure steam control valves which have to handle high differential pressures. These are for instance the boiler vent valves at the high pressure steam lines. The application which face the highest differential pressure however in a boiler is a feed pump recirculation valve where often power stations have got problems with cavitation damages. The Gesser control valves are an excellent solution for energy saving, to keep the productivity of your plant and to reduce the maintenance costs. It's a reliable valve in the size from 1 inch up to 6 inch. The trim design is suitable for differential pressures up to 100 bar or 1450 psi. Pressure class is class 900, nominal pressure PN160. And we have got the opportunity to equip the valve with different types of actuators. On one hand, here we see a pneumatic diaphragm actuator. Even electric actuators are possible or simple hand wheels. Here I would like to show to you what we can see of the ZK29 trim design. Here we have got the valve body. It's a forged body, can be machined in straight through or even an angle pattern. Here is the valve seat, which can be changed very quickly and easy. We have got here the four sleeves, which are realizing a three-stage pressure drop. Over the sleeves, we have got here a special rear protection sleeve to avoid any washing outs of the valve body by the flow direction under the valve plug. Here we have got the valve stem and the valve plug. And here the valve plug is bolted to the valve stem and can be changed very easy too. So the complete trim is pushed down by six of these bolts in the valve body, which gives a very high load on the gasket under the seat ring to guarantee no leakage between body and the seat. 
Now I have taken only the seat ring and the two inner sleeves of the four sleeves. The sleeves can be moved against each other and this means that we are able to adjust large CV values, medium size or small CV values. This gives us a very high flexibility to deliver different CV values which can be even later adjusted if the valve is installed in the plant. Additionally, we can switch between two characteristics. Here, over the stroke of the valve plug, we are always opening the same cross-sectional areas. That means that we have got a linear characteristic. With a special adjustment of the sleeves, that means that we are turning them by around about 180 degrees to each other, we are able to get an equal percentage characteristic. That means we have got small cross-sectional orifices, which becomes larger and larger, and therefore even we are able to reduce or to enlarge the CV value, which gives us three different adjustments for each characteristic. Additionally, we have got a special valve plug design and seat design, which guarantees zero leakage. That means we fulfill ANSI class 6 with a control valve, which has finally the function of two valves, of a control valve plus an isolation valve. The dilemma of every valve is the opening and the closing procedure, what I want to show you now. To keep the zero leakage with a metal-to-metal -metal seat, it's important to have a specific trim design that we can rely on this perfect leakage rate even after six months or one or two years. The dilemma of every control valve is the opening and closing procedure that we are producing just before we are going down on the seat, a very small gap between the plug and the seat. This causes enormous high flow velocities, which finally are the reason for erosion at the important seat surfaces. The ZK29 has got a special trim design to avoid this problem. We have got here two seat areas. One, this is the main seat of the valve plug here, and we have got the opposite side and the seat ring. Above the seat, we have got here a special control edge, which will interrupt the flow through the valve during the closing procedure before the valve plug touch the seat. It works in this way. Now we have got the flow under the valve plug and the control edge will interrupt the flow at this corner of the seat ring if I drive down the valve plug. Now the flow is interrupted but the plug is still two millimeter away from the seat. This is a safety distance to avoid any wire drawing or erosion effects. Now I can bring down the valve plug in the end position down on the seat and I have closed the valve totally. The opening works in the same way, only reverse. We are opening the valve, so we lift off with the main valve plug here from the seat but we don't give the flow free by the control edge. After we reach the safety distance of 2 mm, the control edge gives the flow free and then we are here in the control position for the valve. What are the benefits of this valve for you? First, you will have a perfect tight shut off with the control valve. This guarantees for you no energy losses. You won't have any thermal shock damages in steam coolers if you're using this valve as a spray water control valve. You have got a very good control performance over a long time by avoiding washing outs of the seat surfaces and of the trim itself. So that means that you keep a stable control characteristic. 
we have got a very reliable trim design for extremely high differential pressures. So that means the valve can stay for a long time in operation without maintenance. This reduces your maintenance costs. And finally, the valve is easy to repair. All internal parts can be pulled out of the valve body without any special tools during the valve can stay welded in the line. All in all, it's a perfect solution and a very well troubleshooter for your valve problems in your plant. Thank you very much for your attention and I hope I wake up your interest for this specific valve design.